Five, we'll test 556 five, first, yeah? Okay, we're gonna t test 556 five, guns first. Reason being is because the Scar L had the biggest buff out of all the guns. So we're gonna test the recoil standing and then crouched. Okay, standing recoil, let's see. And we're gonna shoot at this target, okay? Yo, that's kind of wild, though. It's got vertical recoil, but yo, that's kind of wild. There's no horizontal recoil at all. Okay, and then we're going to crouch. Okay. Scar L literally has no recoil. Has vertical recoil, but you just pull down. Holy shit. Okay, that is the Scar L. Done. One that got the biggest buff. Then we're going to move on to the... HK next. All right, let's see what the HK is like. This is probably the probably the biggest one for people, to be honest. People love this gun. All right, so standing recoil. I mean, it's not bad considering what it used to be, chat. It's not bad considering what it used to be. All right, now we're going to test crouching recoil. Oh, brother. Yo, that's fucking wild. That is fucking wild, dude. Dude, that's fucking nuts though, boys. That is actually kind of wild. All right, so we're going to do the M4 now. All right, this is the meta build if you want to use this. Obviously, it's got the long barrel on it. This is probably what people are going to be using. 44 ergo, 29 vertical. If BSG doesn't patch this, this is the best build right now. Uh, 52 ergo, 22 recoil. Both of these guns are very good. Hopefully, they don't patch the glitch one. All right, M4 standing recoil. Pretty fucking decent. Pretty decent, boys. Crouch recoil. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. That's pretty fucking good. And by the way, bear in mind, I have no skills leveled. Well, I do, but like, my skills aren't maxed yet, you know? Okay, this is the glitched M4. Standing recoil's not that bad. Obviously, it's got a lot of muzzle flash. Okay. Crouched recoil on the M4. Holy fuck. Yo, through the muzzle flash, though, that did not move. That did not move at all. Jesus. That shit was wild. But there's a good chance that go that one's going to get patched. There's a good chance. Uh, let's move on to SA58 now, boys. Actually, no. Let's do the 5.06 versions first. G36. Dude, this recoil buff is actually fucking good. Holy shit, man. All right, next we are testing the G36. This is pretty much the best build for this gun. No one really uses it. Uh, you can change the suppressor and make it slightly better, but let's test it out. Standing up. Full auto. I mean, it's a bit jumpy, but there's no horizontal, which is really nice. So this gun is actually usable now. W change. Crouch recoil. Oh, damn! Wait, that's actually kind of good, though. That actually makes the gun usable. G36 is actually usable now. Next is the AK-101 and the... So we got the AUG. This gun is never used, by the way, just so you know. All right, AK-101 is next, okay? We're going to start with the standard recoil on the AK-101. It's kind of bouncy. It doesn't really seem like it's improved much with the standing recoil. I mean, this is the crouch version. Uh, that's that's pretty significant. It still has a decent bit of horizontal, but it's definitely not bad. Definitely usable. Now moving on to the uh, AUG. This gun was out of the swipe. It's pretty shit still, in my opinion, but we'll see. Oh, yeah. What is that? What? Yeah, don't buy this gun. Uh, the... This is one gun that will need to be buffed by itself. Uh, 100%. Damn, that thing sucks. Holy shit. So now we're moving on to the 5.56 MDR. This is the... This gun was pretty good before the buff. Let's see what it's like now. It's got a decent bit of, like, visual recoil. And it bounces quite a lot. But it's still decent. I would, say, I would say it's usable. Maybe could use a slight buff. Maybe. Yeah, no, that... Okay. Like, the recoil's good, but it, it needs some... I think that gun needs, like, potential... A, a little bit of tuning as well. Like, th some of these guns need to be tuned individually by the devs. 
Even even though the even though some of them are really good, definitely some need to be tuned. So that one's one of them. Okay, let's move on to seven six two now. Probably the biggest one you guys are curious about is the SA fifty eight, right? So we're gonna start with the suppressed SA. Okay, so we have suppressed SA. This gun has sixty three recoil, by the way. Bearing in mind, this gun shoots big boy bullets, so you kind of can't have low recoil on a gun like this. And then crouched. I would say for the type of gun that it is and what it shoots, I say it's fine the way it is right now. You don't want this gun to be meta chat. I played when this gun was meta and it was fucking broken. Like, it's it's fun, but it's broken as fuck, man. I think right now it's probably in a good spot. Because there's one thing you guys aren't paying attention to as well. When my skills max out, this gun is going to be busted as fuck. Think about when my skills max out, boys. Think about that shit. My skills are going to be fucking broken with some of these guns. All right, now the loud SA-58 standing up. Definitely probably not worth using the loud in my opinion. I think if you're gonna use an SA, I would use the suppress one. And it's not too bad crouch. These guns are definitely viable now though. Like they, these definitely suck, but like like I said, you don't want these guns being broken, man. Trust. Uh alright, moving on to the RD and mutant now. Alright, these guns have always or like been king for like the past three wipes. RD, mutant, MDR. Let's see how good they are now with these buffs. Oh yeah. That is wild. That's BP, by the way. All right, now crouch recoil. Yeah. Yep, this gun is even more broken now. Like, just even more broken than what it was before. All right, mutant, stand in recoil. Okay, that, that's honestly, that's pretty fair. The stand in recoil on that, I'd say that's fair. Gun's fucking broken, man. Damn. That is wild. Nah, Crouched Mutant is still broken, dude. <laughs> Crouched Mutant is still very good. Alright, MCX next, chat. We are doing MCX next. MCX stand and recoil. Pretty bad. Crouch recoil. Okay, it, it kind of has no recoil, but it has a lot of, like, horizontal spray. So, MCX needs buff. To be honest if you compare this to any other like dude compare what this gun to the mutant and the rd rd and shit way better and it shoots an even better round too so i would say the this gun needs a buff too personally as far as i know the val hasn't been buffed so let's try the val now this gun definitely needs a buff from what i've seen oh. okay bearing in mind this gun has like no recoil in real life this gun literally has no recoil in real life dude it is very sporadic, dude. Very sporadic. It's just all over the place. It's super random. It's not really controllable. Val is definitely still chalk. SR2. This gun was already pretty good, this wipe. Uh, only problem with this gun is you can't get the ammo, so we'll see. This gun's already pretty good, chat, to be fair. It's just ammo availability. But we'll just include it anyway. Already way better than the Val. Straight away. Yeah, crouch recoil. Not bad. Literally the same. That gun's fair. If you could buy the good ammo for that, this would be literally the new Val. But they took away the ammo. Okay, MP7. I have, apparently MP7 is wild at the moment. I haven't tested this shit. Alright, stand and recoil. It, it's sporadic, but it's sporadic in a small area. So it's not bad. In close range, this is a really good gun. Oh, brother. Next is the MP5. Uh, I know a lot of people were bitching about this gun last wipe. I'm not too sure how good it is now compared to before, but let's see. Oh, shit. Man. Damn. That's actually pretty good. I'm actually surprised about that one. That one's actually pretty good now. Okay, good, good. That's good. That gun is actually noticeably good now. People will use this gun for sure. Good change on that one, man. 100%. All right, next is the Vector and the P90 with S193. I got the Victor. It's still sporadic, but for the RPM, it kind of makes sense, right? And that was standing. Pretty decent. Crouch recoil on the Vector. Damn. That is... Vector is... I'd say Vector's in a good spot now. Stand in P90 recoil. Decent. P90 crouched. Ooh. Well, 
that, that is pretty fucking wild. That is pretty wild. Um, next is the Ompen MDR. All right, moving on to the MDR now, the hollow. But bearing in mind, this gun isn't really designed for hollows. It's usually used for sniping, but we'll see anyway. Okay, this thing has crazy visual recoil. Holy shit. That is crazy. Like, camera recoil is wild on that, man. Obviously, you're not supposed to be full auto in this gun anyway, so... When it's crouched, it's it's usable with a hollow. But this gun, I think this gun's been in a fine place for the last three wipes, in my opinion. Moving on to the arm. The absolute worst players use this gun, by the way. No flame. No flame, man, if you use the ump. Worst players. Yep, ump is even better. GG's, yep. Gonna die to more bushes now, yep. Yeah, that's... Yep, that is definitely a big difference. Ump is even stronger than what, what it was. Dude, this gun... Okay, I'm gonna say it. Ump has been knitting a nerf for, like, the past two wipes. They need to make this gun more expensive. That gun is too fucking good for how cheap it is. Alright. Uh, Siger and Keta. Alright, I want to test the shotgun. I don't think this has been buffed, but I do want to test it. Wait, why does that feel like it's got a lot of recoil? Have they broken... Have they broken shotguns? I don't know if they broke shotguns. This shotgun never used to have this much recoil. This, this gun usually had, like, no recoil before. Keta, apparently this gun's got a big buff too. Okay, it's very sporadic, but like, pretty like, after the initial kick, it's not bad. Holy beamer. Keta is fucking definitely strong again. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna see a lot of Keta's to swipe for sure after that buff. I'm not gonna try semis, because semis, you're not really supposed to spray with semis, you know? That's the point. Alright. This is the Scar H, which is this alternative to the MDR. Holy shit, bro. What? Okay, Scar, Scar H is definitely... Um... When you're standing, I don't think it's worth. I, I think a gun like this might need a buff, maybe, to be honest with you. I'll put this in needs a buff category, to be honest, because MDR is still just way, 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 way better. Way better, boys. Like, don't even lie, MDR is so much better. I've tried Scarl. Scarl's the best one. Bro, I think they've nerfed shotguns, though. Shotgun feels worse. Okay, MP9, stun and recoil. Bear in mind this gun has crazy RPM. Pretty wild when standing, but when crouched, it's actually pretty different. You put some rip ammo in there, or like 7M. That is, that is kind of nuts. That is a uh, 1100 RPM gun, by the way. All right, MP9, stun and recoil. Pretty sporadic, crouched. Decent, not bad, usable, usable boys. All right, we're gonna go with seven and 40 for this video, or for this gun. So that means we are currently at 20. So this, this gun technically has 20 recoil, or 18 recoil, I think. All right. AK-74N, stand and recoil. It's not bad if you have 7 and 40. That is 7 and 40 chat, but this ammo is really rare to acquire. Damn! That's, that's the uh, 74N, which is the best of its class, with the best ammo, which is 7 and 40. Uh, because my chat asked to, people want to see a VT variant of this gun. Pretty significant with BT ammo in it. And this is Crouch BT. Decent. Okay, so BSG also just did a, another buff right this second. They have buffed all guns uh, visual recoil, which is basically how much the camera shakes when you spray. If you look at this light, this is what it looks like. Just pay attention to this. That is what's called camera recoil. And they've also uh, buffed the VAL and the VSS by 5. Bearing in mind, all other guns got a buff by 10. VAL did just get a minor buff by 5. So not as much as other guns, but this is what it looks like crouch. It's still pretty sporadic, but it's better than nothing. What do you guys think, man? Overall, I'm impressed with the update, man.
There's obviously some guns that need massive tuning, for sure. But overall, buff is a big W. It's definitely going to actually make the game more enjoyable now. Because there's more options to use with guns, which is sick. And it, it, I don't think it, the buff is, like, that good where it breaks the fucking game type shit. Like, where it makes people mad that things have no recoil. Because there still is there is still a decent bit of vertical recoil and shit on guns. But yeah, boys, that is, that's, the, uh, that's the video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, boys. And uh, come check me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Boom.